Many people want to live forever, but this is not something humans have yet worked out. People have tried cryogenic freezing and also magical potions like the Fountain of Youth, but nothing has worked. But did you know that there are already immortal animals among us? Many animals, common and rare, can live after death and some are even immortal and can't pass away. Before we jump into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Cockroaches Cockroaches are tiny, but they're said to be the toughest living things in the world. They're one of the only living things that would survive a nuclear apocalypse. Not only that, if you cut off a cockroach's head, it will continue living. It can do this for about two weeks with no head. But how can these bugs survive being decapitated? After all, if your brain's not connected to your body, then how does it move? Well, it's all to do with how cockroaches breathe. They do this through small holes on their body. Of course, us humans could never do this because if you remove our heads, then our brain is not connected to our body. This would mean we could not breathe, eat, or drink. Also, unlike humans, cockroaches don't bleed. They have an open circulatory system. This means they won't pass away from any blood loss if you remove their head. The only reason cockroaches pass away without a head after two weeks is because they can't eat. But they can store enough food inside them for up to two weeks. After that time, they will eventually pass away from starvation. Immortal Jellyfish Jellyfish are fascinating and sometimes painful animals. They're also very mysterious, as jellyfish don't possess brains. Instead, they're made up of a net of nerves. But did you know there's one species of jellyfish which ages backwards? This has led to some nicknaming it the immortal jellyfish. Its scientific name is Turritopsis dumi. If the jellyfish is injured or sick, it returns to its polyp stage. It does this over three days. It transforms its cells into a younger state, and it will eventually grow back into adulthood all over again. So if this immortal jellyfish is injured, it can simply regenerate into its younger self and then it can restart the clock and begin aging back into adulthood. The method this jellyfish's cells use is called transdifferentiation, and this has now inspired scientists to try and use the same technology on humans. Using stem cells, they may be able to edit humans' biology. Humans could soon be bioengineered to repair damaged tissue, and perhaps it's a step towards immortality for us. Octopus would you eat something that's still moving? Well, in some Asian countries, that's what many people do. After an octopus has been chopped up, it can still move. In countries like Korea, Japan, and Singapore, fresh octopus is actually a delicacy, and amazingly it moves around on your plate. These arms have been known to move while in someone's throat. This sometimes causes people to wind up in hospital. Octopuses' central nervous systems are totally different from us humans. Octopuses have three nerve cells. Only one of them is in their brain. The rest is in their tentacles, meaning that if you chop them up, then they'll still have nerve cells functioning. Even if they're no longer connected to the main brain, these can still react to stimuli. It actually takes many hours for the tentacles to stop moving after the octopus has died. But in one experiment, many tentacles were moving weeks after the octopus died. Flatworms Flatworms are also known as planarium worms. They're famous for having a special power, which is regeneration. You can cut this worm across or lengthways, and it will form into two separate worms. Some think that you can do this with your average garden worm, but that's a myth. Amazingly, flatworms can regenerate an infinite number of times. This means you could slice one flatworm into a thousand pieces, and it would make a thousand flatworms. They also regenerate any aging or damaged tissue. According to the University of Nottingham, this allows the flatworms to cheat death indefinitely. This is also the only way flatworms reproduce. That's because they do not mate to reproduce. Chickens We've all heard the expression, running around like a headless chicken. That's because when farmers cut the heads of chickens, they still run around even without their head. But why is this? Well, it really comes down to a chicken's central nervous system. It's very unlike humans or most mammals. Chicken's bodily functions are controlled not by the brain, but parts of the brain stem. This means when you cut off a chicken's head, only the forebrain will come off. The brain stem and cerebellum, however, will still be intact. Chicken's jugulars are also located quite low down. This means they'll even be able to breathe without a head. Eventually, these chickens then pass away from lack of food. One thing they can't do without a head is eat. But there was one time a chicken survived 18 months without a head. This took place in 1945 in Colorado, USA. The chicken was nicknamed Mike the Headless Chicken. Frogs 
Did you know that if you remove a frog's brain, they can continue to move around? This was found out by scientists in a nature park. That was after many people in the park reported seeing headless frogs hopping around. One neurologist named David Ferrier even removed the brain from a frog, but left its head on. He was stunned to find out that there's no difference between a frog with a brain and a frog without a brain. He turned the frog upside down, but the frog was able to leap back onto its four legs. He also poked the frog and it hopped away. He then put the frog in some water and it swam to the side and climbed out, just like it would with a brain. Scarily, frogs can even croak without a brain. But how do they do this? Well, it's all down to frogs' amazing reflex reactions. These are electrical impulses that cause muscles to move around. The muscles can expand and contract on their own without any brain telling them to do so. Flies. Magician David Blaine has a trick where he can make a dead fly come back to life. But how is he actually doing it? Well, he's not exactly bringing it back to life because flies are almost immortal. Flies can actually go into suspended animation. They do this when it gets too cold. If you put a fly in a freezer, then it will go into suspended animation. Then put it in the palm of your hand and the heat from your hand will wake it back up again. It's kind of like being cryogenically frozen, although that's not said to work. But maybe if humans can capture this science, perhaps we can really make cryogenic freezing a reality. But did you know that flies can also live after you remove their heads? This actually only works for female flies. Decapitated female flies can fly and also walk even without a head. And they will go on living like this for many days. According to research, male flies are actually even more attracted to headless female flies. I don't mean to judge, but that is pretty creepy. Turtles. Turtles have special cells that take over when their brainstem is not getting signals from their brain. They can use these to make sure their heart still functions. And they can do this even if their brain has been removed for a long time. Turtles' hearts don't require much blood. This means they can be cut off from oxygen and nutrients and still live for a long time. The loggerhead musk turtle can survive after death for 5,000 hours. That's 208 days. They're able to consume oxygen from water through their skin. Their hearts can also retain blood and nutrients for a long time. Snakes. Snakes are terrifying and sometimes even dangerous. But if you think that cutting the head of a snake will make you safe, then think again. You're actually much safer running away because snake heads can still bite you even when they're not attached to their bodies. Their poison sacs are located in their heads. And even when removed from their body, their mouths can still open up and leap forward too. They can do this because in their head, they have heat sensitive pits. This will detect anything coming near them hours after they've passed away. Just when you thought snakes couldn't get any more scary, right? Salamanders. Salamanders live for so long that some say they're magic. It's no secret that they have incredibly long lifespans. But the amazing thing about salamanders is their regeneration abilities. If you chop any part of their body off, they'll simply grow it back. These regrown parts actually function better than the original part which has been cut off. This is because salamanders have proteins which replicate their cells. It's the same protein that allows human skin to seal back up after a wound. Only we have it in much smaller amounts. Some scientists are trying to use salamanders technology to improve our stem cell research. Then, maybe in the future, we'll be able to grow back severed arms and legs. Bees. If you don't like bees, so you decide to squash it, then don't think you're safe. Even when they're not alive, they can still sting you. Their venom delivery system also still works after they've passed on. That's because the sting is attached to a tiny muscle that puts the venom out. These are not controlled by the bee's brain, but instead involuntary electrical impulses. You wouldn't have thought that bees could do all of that, but amazingly they can. They seem like such normal insects, but they can live with no head for a long time. Interestingly enough though, when a bee stings you, this means it will pass away. This is not like a wasp, which can sting you as many times as it wants. The really interesting thing we need to look out for is scientists using this technology on humans. Using stem cells, we may be able to harvest some of these biological traits from animals. Then if we put them into humans, we could really become immortal. This is being tested right now, so we'll have to keep an eye out. But now it's time to make your voice heard, which was the most amazing immortal animal on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.